I'm Roy Sigashi, an Applications Engineer for ST's MEM Sensors We have two platforms, the STM32 Nucleo platform that includes analog and digital microphone expansion boards for evaluation and development, and the small form factor sensor tile dot box and ST Win platforms that include motion MEMS and environmental sensors for quick system prototyping. The X-Nucleo CCA02M2 digital microphone expansion board for the Nucleo platform includes two MP34DT06J digital top port mics, six expansion slots for additional digital microphone coupon boards, and can capture up to four microphone outputs simultaneously. The CCA02M2 is supported by the X-Cube MEMS Mic 1 software package. The X-Nucleo AMIC-AM1 Analog Microphone Expansion Board, also for the Nucleo platform, includes three MP23ABS1 single-ended analog mics, five expansion slots for additional analog microphone coupon boards, and can capture up to four microphone outputs simultaneously. The system allows up to 192 kHz sampling rate, and the AMIC AM1 is supported by the X-Cube MEMS Mic 1 software package. The center tile dot box is an all-in-one IoT node that includes the MP23ABS1 analog mic, as well as ST's MEMS motion and environmental sensors, including the LSM 6DSOX 6-axis IMU with embedded machine learning core. The sensor tile dot box is a fast prototyping tool that allows the user to develop algorithms via the STBLE sensor app and capture data on a local SD card or upload it to the cloud. The STWIN is similar to the sensor tile dot box. It is an all-in-one industrial node that includes the MP23ABS1 analog mic and the IMP34DT05 industrial grade digital mic as well as ST's MEMS motion and environmental sensors. The ST-WIN provides fast prototyping and data capture via USB, Bluetooth, or direct to cloud via Wi-Fi. Additional Wi-Fi adapter is required. Here you can see the details of the ST-WIN, including the microphones and the ISM330DHCX industrial grade 6-axis IMU with machine learning core. In addition to the suite of onboard sensors, it includes Bluetooth and RS-485 connectivity, as well as expansion slots for additional features. Two expansion boards for the ST-WIN are the ST-EVAL ST-WIN WF V1 Wi-Fi adapter and the ST-EVAL ST-WIN MAV1 analog microphone array. The ST-WIN WF V1 is 802.11b, g, and n compatible and is required for direct cloud connectivity. The STWIN MAV1 includes four MP23ABS1 analog mics in a quad array configuration that gives the STWIN beamforming and source localization capability. The STSW STWIN KT01 and XCube MEMS Mic 1 software packages provide example source code for the ST-WIN. The serial data log and high-speed data log examples allow data collection via USB or the onboard SD card. BLE Sample app provides data streaming via Bluetooth to the STBLE Sensors app. Onboard mics streams the microphone outputs to your PC via USB audio. The ultrasound FFT provides high frequency FFT analysis via PC GUI. Microarray coupon software supports multi mic acquisition via the STWIN MAV1 expansion board. Wi Fi connectivity provides basic Wi Fi examples. Let's see two demos using the STWIN's onboard microphones. The first is the microphone streaming software in the XQ MEMS Mic 1 software package. In this demo, we'll capture the output of both the IMP34DT05 digital mic and the MP23ABS1 analog mic simultaneously via USB audio. 
To run the demo, program the STWIN with the onboard mics underscore both underscore 48 kilohertz binary file. Open audio capture software of your choice. In this case, I am using Audacity. Configure the capture software and start recording. The PC sees the STWIN as a stereo USB microphone with the digital mic as the top channel and the analog mic as the bottom channel. Here's the demo in action. The ST-Win has been programmed and Audacity has been configured. I'll start the recording. You can see the two tracks being recorded. I'll stop the recording and play back the captured audio and we can all enjoy a few seconds of relaxing acoustic guitar. Next, let's look at the ultrasound FFT from the X-Cube MEMS Mic 1 software package. In this demo, we'll visualize and capture ultrasonic signals using the MP23ABS1 through the FFT app. To run the demo, program the STWIN with the ultrasound FFT binary file. Open the ultrasound FFT.exe in the MEMS Mic 1 utilities folder. Press start to enable the FFT and stop to end. You can set power spectral density and frequency thresholds to find the bin with the highest ultrasonic energy. You can also enable and disable the peak detector and low pass filter. You can save the recording as raw data in a .dat format using the save to file feature. From here you can use the MATLAB or Python scripts read FFT in the software executable folder to plot the spectrogram of the captured data. Here's the ultrasound FFT demo in action. We're currently looking at the output with no ultrasound signal. Now I'll provide a 40 kHz signal and you can see that in the FFT. I'm changing the PSD and frequency thresholds. You can see the shaded area where we're looking for ultrasonic energy change. Now I'll toggle the peak detector and the low pass filter. To show the tracking capability, I'll change the signal amplitude. You can see the fundamental increase and decrease. Now I'll change the frequency to 30 kilohertz, back to 40 kilohertz, up to 50 kilohertz, and back to 40 kilohertz. And that's the ultrasound FFT demo. Thank you very much for your time and attention.